Um, uh, for a pretty high scoring one, that 34-41 uh, uh, defeat to Jersey to start our Championship Cup campaign. Um, I guess the overriding feeling is a bit of disappointment after that one. Yeah, massive disappointment I think. Um, over the last sort of three years this club's worked extremely hard to set a standard of what we expect, especially at home and unfortunately as a group we, um, we fell, fell below that today. So yeah, immensely disappointed and uh, short turnaround now to put it right against Richmond. Yeah, we've obviously this so far this season we've started very strongly in games, but uh, well, we, I think we're 12 nil down after about 15 minutes. It was the opposite today. Um, any particular reason for that? Do you think? Uh, look, we had a, a week off last week, and um, we, we, we sometimes struggle coming out of a week off to to fire in the first game back, and that was the case again. I think the first 10 minutes we were outplayed, outmuscled by them, and we came back into it. But unfortunately, a yellow card for myself and discipline. Um, put us on the back foot and we weren't able to recover. We did, one of the main positives was the response to that though. I think we, we did go, I think, 17-12 up just before the break. Um, it, was a, it was a great response from us to get in front, but unfortunately Jersey just squeezed one last try before half time and we, we went in level. It was a somewhat frustrating end to the first half, I guess. Yeah, like I said, and I've, I've probably got to take a fair bit of responsibility for that. It was um, my penalty and the yellow card that put our pack under a lot of, lot of pressure going into the half, so I have to hold my hands up to the boys. But you know, we said in the huddle there, we can't fault the effort. It's just we're gifting too many points to teams, whether it be through indiscipline or, or missed one-up tackles. And no matter how many strong defensive systems and how good your coaches are, you're not going to win games if you miss too, that many tackles. Yeah, it was a similar story to the rest of the season as well in the, in the second half. I think they, they, uh, they scored three unanswered tries to pretty much uh, take control of the game. And uh, we kind of struggled to get an, an arm wrestle, kind of a foothold in that second half, didn't we? Yeah, it's difficult and you know that you know some of their, their tries came from good play from them but a lot of it's coming from sort of them feeding off our mistakes in terms of intercepts, you know, little knock knock on balls. I think we had two intercept tries there and that's 14 points and you're always going to struggle. So those are fixables for us but we need to start seeing um, more discipline when we have the ball and when we don't have it. Is that the most frustrating thing that actually uh, it seemed like we were miles away but when you look back at the scoreboard we only lost by seven points and I think we conceded three as you say kind of interception or kind of drop balls um, and when you look back at it those those individual errors are potentially costing yeah yeah and like I said they're fixable but it's um, it's a recurring theme now similar issue against Nottingham and it's, it's just something that it's early enough in the season to nip it in the bud we're very much alive in the league and we're still very much alive in the cup so yeah fixables for us we just need to, um, to put it right yeah in terms of positives we salvaged two points out of that didn't we got the got the try bonus point right at the end and then the, the kick to get us within seven so um as I, as I kind of mentioned, it seemed like we were down and out, but uh, to come away with two points is not a bad start. Yeah, an excellent from Sam Oliver, I thought at the end there, just to knock that over, it was a big kick. Um, and it probably took us 60 minutes or so till we had that real urgency that we're used to seeing here. Um, you know, we've been criticised for not going the 80, but I thought the last 20 there was, was some of our best attacking play this season. It's just we're leaving ourselves too much to do in the end. Yeah, how, was, how did you find the new new tackle laws? Any Anything anything to add to that? Um, well, I was... I didn't really notice too many high tackles. No. Uh, it was something we prepared for, but our focus is um, low chop tackles anyway, so it shouldn't have affected us too much. Yeah, uh, short turnaround now to Richmond in round two. Um, that's two defeats in a row, so I guess we'll all be chomping at the bit to, to put that right next weekend. Yeah, definitely. It's. Um, I think this this team's got used to, to winning, and unfortunately now we, we, we've lost our last two games, and it's, uh, it's about how we respond as a group, and we show a bit of character going into the game against Richmond on Friday. Yeah, I think the nat nature of this group the uh, the cup sorry is that I think the top two and then the some of the third place as well go go through so uh, certainly not time to, for panic at the moment no no and it's uh, it's something we want to win it's it's a setback but uh, yeah we're still very much alive in the cup Glenn a funny old game today we've started the championship cup with a defeat 34-41 but it seemed like we were down and out and we've kind of salvaged two points right at the end so it feels a little bit more positive than perhaps it would have done 20 minutes before yeah yeah I think uh, yeah we won about a 60 minute mark um, so we were thought we were well and truly out the game and I thought the boys to fair to them their attitude throughout was, was tremendous can't fault the work rate and uh, and the way we came back into the game in the last 20 minutes to actually salvage two points from it is uh, is a positive but obviously very disappointed with a lot of aspects of the game um, you know and, and a lot of things that are sort of down to ourselves as well
well, a lot of unforced errors. Um, and you know, we're going to tidy those up and win a little bit, not a massive rut. We spoke in the group and as a group afterwards there about how we're going to have to dig ourselves out of you know a couple of losses now to uh, to bounce back next week with a short turnaround. Yeah, it seems to be the individual errors that are killing us, doesn't it? It was the same against Nottingham as well. Um, I think it was at least two interceptions today and a couple of kind of fumbles that ended up with tries. Um, as I say, they, they seem to be that you know you kind of mentioned it. The work rate's great, the effort's fantastic, but these just little lapses seem to be really costing us at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably say that maybe we're a little bit careless at the minute at times, um, and we, we have to learn to be able to go through the phases a little bit better. We don't have to score off third or fourth yeah. phase. We can build the phases. So everyone, you know, everyone watching national yesterday, 22 phases. I think New Zealand went at one point. You know, I think you know we have to just you can exert pressure on the opposition by holding onto the ball and going through the phases. You know, and I think uh, we maybe tried to force it a little bit too much at times and you know they, they put the pressure straight back on us and fair play to Jersey they, they were very good today and uh, and we knew the challenge they were going to pose they've been in great form at the minute you know can't take anything away from uh, from how well they played but at the same time I think you know we're, we're gifting them a few opportunities that you know we can't be gifting teams Does today highlight the importance of discipline um, obviously their mall is fantastically strong and you know we conceded a couple of penalties just in our own half and then before you know it you're in the corner and they go over it just shows how, how you just can't afford to give those soft penalties away Yeah no definitely I mean, one of the big things we spoke about all week was discipline. Uh, we sort of said one of Jersey's strengths is their driving wall. It has been for years. Uh, they've been scoring walls every game. So, you know, you can't be afford to give penalties away in your own half, even around about the halfway line where they're just going to bang us five metres out. And again, it's just exerting pressure on pressure for ourselves. Uh, and, you know, that's an area that we, we'll have to tidy up. You know, I think it, the discipline in the whole was, was better than where we were against Nottingham. We gave far too many penalties away against Nottingham. This week was better, but what we've got to understand is the dull ones, you know, the, one, the offside ones ones that they're the ones that can kill you a little bit and uh, I think yeah like you said it highlights just how important discipline is because essentially all you're giving up then is field position and inviting pressure back onto ourselves. Yep yeah, uncharacteristically slow start today that's been our probably biggest trait this season the fact that we've kind of blown teams away in the first uh, first half that obviously didn't happen today I know the players have had a bit of time off so perhaps it was just kind of getting back into it a little bit. Yeah I mean obviously that we have started games particularly well in the past um, but you know we were facing a very tough opposition today you know sometimes times uh, you're not going to blow teams away in the first 20 minutes as much as a coach you'd like to blow teams away you know you've got uh, 15 guys that are trying to stop you doing what you want to do I just think we, you know we didn't help ourselves in the first if you compare our motion onto the ball for the example we spoke about afterwards our motion onto the ball and attack first half compared to those last 20 minutes was miles away so you know if we can do that in the 60th minute why can't we do that from uh, minute one and maybe for us as a group it's sort of we have to go back to you know sort of the mental side maybe yeah. a little bit and actually how we can encourage that from the off because uh, you don't want to be leaving it with 20 minutes to go if you've got a 14 point deficit to chase. Yeah we, do, we then came back into the game, we took a, took the lead I think 17-12, um, that was one of the main positives wasn't it, the fact that we just uh, just kind of kept plugging away and then eventually got in front it, obviously despite the fact that Jersey then scored right on half time but at least we uh, we kind of turned the game around a bit in that uh, that first half. Yeah no exactly, I think you, you know sometimes you're gonna there are going to be lengthy periods of the game where you are defending and where pressure is put on you and it's actually how you stay in the fight uh, and you know I, I think like we said before the boys worked tremendously hard there's no question that their work rate was there uh, and you know I think we stayed in the arm wrestle early doors to pull it back and make it 17 all at half time I mean we probably went in that half time thinking we were probably 17 points down but actually it was 17 all uh, and you know that, that was one pleasing aspect but I think you know the the problem for us at the minute is actually sustaining a full 80 minute performance and staying switched in for the 80 minutes you know forced errors you can you know you don't want to live with them but like you can maybe accept them at times it's the unforced ones really that killed us today yeah we tried to put a bit of a positive spill on it but how disappointing was that kind of third quarter the 40 to 60 minute mark where I think they scored three unanswered tries that they could, they basically just kind of ran away with the game a little bit there didn't they yeah yeah huge. I mean again like you said we sort of you know we fed into their hands you know we sort of said we were wanting to we want to kick contestables we or kick long we don't want to be kicking out you know feeding their set piece uh, we wanted we wanted to try and achieve a fast game on this pitch so I think a few things that we spoke about we didn't do in that um, 20 minute period after after half time you know again we gave a, 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 a poor penalty way they kick us in the corner again and, and score from a yeah. uh, driving mall and it's just inviting that pressure back you know we've got to we've got to trust the system we've got to trust our defensive system and then it's having the mental capacity then to not give those dual penalties away and uh, you know I think you know the boys trained really well this week you know I thought we, we had an extra day training this week we were prepared really well you know I, I think just for us it's, it's the ability to stay mentally switched 
on for the whole game and understand that mistakes can cost you and they will cost you and you know you don't want to have the uh, effort errors again they're the big ones as a coach you don't want effort errors and we didn't have them today they were there in abundance and really proud of the boys for putting that in but it's you know it's like we said the uh, the unforced careless uh, errors that are sort of costing us at the minute and uh, we have to obviously this week address that and make sure we can kick on because we got two points out of the game today and we're still in the race yep um, 10 minutes to go 10-15 minutes to go and we were kind of 20, 20 up, I think 24 points down um, then play some absolutely fantastic rugby to get back into the game not only to get the, the losing bonus point but also the try bonus point as well um, I, I, perhaps it was the fact that the pressure was kind of off but we looked fantastic in that uh, that last 20 minutes or so yeah yeah well, we spoke about a little bit earlier about how you know you compare our, um, our speed onto the yeah. ball and attack and you know it's a, it's a simple game at times isn't it if yeah. you come forward and you uh, you're going forward uh, you know you get the defence backtrack and you can beat him around the corner and that, and that was just pretty simple rugby for a couple of our tries there where we just came around beat him around the corner pace onto the ball where he, we, you know we looked like we had a bit of desire about us and yeah. you know the, we've got to have that from minute one we've got to have that from the off not when we're suddenly 14 points behind and we've got to chase the game but obviously again the resilience and the uh, you know to come back and actually stick in there and we, we, we could have faded away there and lost yeah. by sort of 20 odd points but actually to come back in there and get two points I'm really proud of the boys for that yep um, we obviously we've mentioned we got the two points that's you know that, that means there's no, no time to panic we head to Richmond next week looking to put it right um, obviously six consecutive weeks of the cup so uh, plenty to look forward to and uh, obviously looking to uh, to end the uh, two game losing streak now yeah yeah definitely I mean uh, Richmond is another local derby game you know you know what those ones are like so they're always quite tasty yeah. so um, you know it won't be any easy game uh, they had a tough game obviously on Friday night they will have had a couple more days to recover than we have so uh, we'll have to be smart in how we uh, look after the boys this week but you know there's a lot of disappointed uh, players in the group there and, and rightfully so um, you know they'll they'll be wanting to get a response as we're looking for uh, and I, you know I think our, our preparation this week is, is going to be key uh, and it's just a couple of areas that we need iron out you know it's not panic stations we've lost a couple it's just how we dig ourselves out and uh, I think as a group we're a tight group and uh, and you know we'll, we'll push one another you know there's no there's no lack of want or no lack of um, desire in this group to to want to achieve what they've set out from the start of the season you know I think it's just important that understanding that game management and respecting the ball when we've got it and if we tidy those areas up then we can exert the pressure on the opposition and uh, and not leak uh, soft tries like today we did yeah um, that's two two consecutive away games coming up now both at the athletic ground against Richmond and London Scottish um, we obviously we've kind of touched on the fact that we've had a couple of defeats so just you think this next fortnight could be quite big for the group just to reinstall some confidence and just kind of get it get it all going again yeah yeah Matt, yeah hugely so I think um, you know I, I wouldn't say at this moment in time confidence is low but yeah. I think yeah this game next Saturday can could maybe really galvanize the group again you know and there'll be a few boys that you know a few boys that haven't maybe played so much that are getting opportunities in the minute and they'll be raring to go uh, as a few words today I thought you know for on a, uh, Jordan on Jaffe had a good game today he's been you know he's been itching for a go uh, you know um, George Davis getting his uh, uh, first start you know the, these boys they're itching to go and they're itching to uh, show what they can do which is exciting uh, and you know I think for us you know we want it we, we want to be successful in this group we see as being the holders of the cup even though it's changed slightly uh, and you know the, the good thing is that we've getting two points today we're still in the race because the top two from each group go through uh, and the two for, and the two best third place team so there's still plenty to play for and uh, you know I think these next few weeks will be big for us to, to sort of get back on the saddle and kick on